Hello and welcome guys in the worst style family once again and I'm again in front of you and today I have brought to you a very important topic which is themed as group discussion. Yes guys, nowadays in all private sectors and government sectors including written exam and interview, group discussion has also become a good stage of examination. So today I have brought you 5 important tips that will help you in your GD preparation. Now before starting the topic I have a request from all of you if you have not subscribed my channel up to now please click on the red button and press the bell icon and if you want to watch my previously given videos I am giving you a link right here please click on it and watch my previously given videos. Now without wasting even a single second let's start this video. So. Uh, the very first point you need to remember in the group discussion is that whenever you go for a group discussion you need to carry a pen and a diary or a notebook with you. Now why am I telling is that because whenever you go in a discussion you do not get proper time after 5 or 10 seconds to speak because there are many people. So that pen and diary will help you to note down the important points that you want to speak on and you think are important or you can speak well on those points. So definitely carry a diary and a pen with you when you go for group discussion. Point number two, you need to be alert and you need not to miss any important point on which you are very strong. So you need to listen everyone and memorize your mind or get ready to reply when you get the chance. Point number three, you never need to get personal in the discussion. This is the very most important point that in the discussion when the topic is violent, sometimes the aspirants become or get personal to the other aspirant. They start giving personal example or they start using abusive language. It gives you definitely a negative point. So you need to avoid being personal in the discussion. Point number four, you need not to point a finger on the person who is sitting in front of you or opposite to you or beside you or anywhere. You need to avoid pointing finger and tapping on the table. Sometimes people try to uh, I mean, get the attention of the other person by tapping on the table. I think this is a very bad manner. It shows that you are completely manners left and you do not respect the rules and regulations of group discussion. So you need to avoid tapping hand and pointing a finger while discussing or during the discussion. This is the very most important point. Point number five which is the most important thing that you need to listen to everyone, you need to respect their views, you need to show gratitude to the person who is sitting opposite to you. This shows how mannerful you are and that is the only stage where you get and score more points. I hope that this video is going to help you in your group discussion studies. There are some other points also you need to remember in the group discussion is that you need to respect everyone, you need not to deny directly to the point of anyone. Sometimes. It happens that the other person who is sitting in front of you tells you a complete wrong point but you should not say directly that no, you are wrong. You need to say, okay, I am agree with you but this is my point. This shows that you are respecting the person exactly as he deserves. Now that's all for today. I think this will help you in your GD preparation and I hope that you are going to crack your exam very soon and my well wishes are with you thanks a lot for giving time and watching this video and that's all for today good day good night good afternoon good evening i don't know whenever you're watching this video thank you bye bye